is Billie Eilish, and I'm about to draw my self-portrait. I feel like everybody drew as a kid, though. But I never thought of it as anything interesting. Actually, like, when I sign the posters that are given out of the meet and greets and stuff, I always make sure that there's an extra one, and I turn it around and I draw on the back of it. Always. Like, always, 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 always. I draw the craziest shit. Dude, my brother was so good at drawing. Like, and he would draw, like, fairies and, like, <laughs> elves and shit. And I always thought, since he was good at doing Warhammer shit, that he'd be good at painting my nails. And so I made him paint my nails one time and it was trash. I had a drawing class that I loved. Oh my God, I loved it so much. I actually learned a lot from that class. I draw like everything basically. So like I draw the things I think, but not words and stuff, like literally the things that I think. So a lot of my drawings actually come from my dreams because I have crazy fucking dreams. Um, and so I'll draw whatever it was in my dream and then I'll I, I kind of turn them into like stories and characters and stuff. With every song that I make, I draw the song. And I don't mean lyrics, I don't mean like what it's about or why I wrote it or whatever. I literally draw the way that the song feels, the way that it sounds and stuff. So I'm like, I have drawings for like Barry Friend and this song Ilo Milo that's on the album. I think I have a drawing for every song in the album actually, which is like, it just like helps somehow, I don't know. I, I just, I have this notebook where I just write down and draw every single thing that I think, whether it's like, it doesn't have to be a song, it doesn't have to be a drawing, it doesn't have to be anything. It can just be a fucking scribble and that's the way that I felt that day. But I also have synesthesia, so um, I have a sound and a number and a shape and a color and a, texture and a scent and a temperature for everything. Every song on the album has like a smell, a temperature, a color, a texture, a um, shape, a number. The Bury a Friend video came about because I was sitting on my bed and I was like, let me draw this song. I just sat on my bed and I literally was like, I'm not gonna draw lyrics. I'm not gonna draw any words, any meanings, any anything. And I just sat there and I drew whatever the fuck I drew. I don't even know what it was. It was all these creepy, like monstery things that were kind of like how I see myself. So they're kind of like my conscience almost. Like I think of myself as one of those and I also dream them. It's these, it's these like monsters I've seen in my dreams a couple times. And I just wrote at the bottom of the page, when we all fall asleep, where do we go? just because it was a lyric from Barry Friend. And then it, it all clicked in my head after I drew that. I just was like, oh my God, this is what I want. Like, this is this is the album title. This is what the video is gonna be. This is da 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 da. It all made sense because of that one drawing. I mean, I feel like I owe most of it to Spirited Away and like Miyazaki and just the way that all that animation is, all the like, like no face and Spirited Away. The way that he just, oh my God, it's like so, Spirited Away and like Totoro and like, I mean, well, there's also the Babadook cause that shit created everything that I am. But I, it's really like, I owe so much of it to Miyazaki and like that whole, just like so weirdly unrealistic, but realistic, like, ugh. When Phineas saw Spirited Away as my brother, he was so scared from the parents turning into pigs that he had to go to therapy for like years because of it. Like it fucked him up. And I was like, fuck yeah. Like I remember watching and being like, this is hard. <laughs> and I'd watch it over and over and over. Oh my God, I thought it was so dope. And I had the biggest crush on the dragon in that <laughs> movie. <laughs> ah! I just put out this video with um, Takashi Murakami which was such a dream to have done. And it's fucking crazy that it happened. And we went to his studio and like, it was so dope. There was just like all these, all these drawings and this, all this art all over the walls that was just so much like what I grew up on. And like, you know, that, that Louis Vuitton pattern with the like rainbow on the white, like I, I, I literally idolized that pattern. <laughs> just that one. I don't know what it was like, I don't know. It's crazy to even think about and like all the shit he did with Kanye and like, I don't speak Japanese and he, don't, he doesn't really speak a lot of English. 
which normally would have been a mess to try to collaborate with somebody that you can't talk to. But for some reason, it worked so well because we both are just like creative fucking psychopaths. And it just, we just understood. I felt like I could point to something in his studio and, and he knew exactly what I meant by pointing to it and just being like, oh, I know what you're talking about. This is what you meant and da da da. You know, it was, it was kind of crazy to actually even think about that. I made, up, I made up my own language one time with looking at the shapes on my walls and then drawing the shapes I thought were cool. So basically I'm drawing right now, just a little ex explanation for what this is. Um, it's not my face, it's, this is kind of like my um, conscience. Kind of. Like this is what I think of myself looking like on the inside. Cause we all lie to ourselves about the way that we think we are. You know, it's really hard to, to self-evaluate. And it's really hard to explain a situation for actually how it is instead of how you wish it was or how you want it to look like it is. It's why we do stupid shit and it's why we lie. Cause we don't want to tell ourselves the truth. And so, I don't know, I kind of have this, this creature is like how I look at myself and how I kind of, You can't, you can't take drawing seriously. <laughs> I don't take it seriously, so that's why I end up with shit like this. Like, you could just, for me, if I try to take drawing something seriously, I just end up drawing some dumb shit. Like, I'm just like, and I draw like a nose. So, I don't know. So I just kind of act like I'm still a kid drawing. And then it, it ends up being what I want it to be instead of what someone else what might want it to look like and what you might think someone else would want it to look like. Snakes can always just get out of where they are. Like they can always move to a different place. It's such a weird, to watch a snake move around. Oh my God, that shit is crazy. Oh my God. They move so smooth and so easily. Like they could be tied in a knot and they'd get out of it. They, they can eat themselves. That's crazy. They can't eat themselves. They can eat a fucking, there's videos of like a snake eating a fucking goat or some shit. Like that's, what? There's a snake eating an alligator. What? And so I just like that it's like this unstoppable movement that you just can't, that so many people are scared of. This like slithering thing that can go anywhere it wants. It can move fast and doesn't have legs, you know? The fact that something could not have legs and just like move freely still, it's weird. And they shed their skin and then they get new skin. That's hard, that's hard. Don't you wish we could do that? Cause snakes never like get old. They don't ever get physically like old. I wish we could do that shit. Done. See, but it might look like a joke because you said self portrait, but this is how I think of myself. I mean, we got a big ass mouth. We got some eye bags, but this is this is me up here somehow, like 100% serious. Like this is Billy up here. This bitch is out to get me half the time. But I love her though. I'm Billy Eilish, and this is my self-portrait.